G'day. What does it mean to do something as a problem-solving strategy? Well, let's think about it. In business and research, you're often solving problems that have never been seen before. In fact, the questions have never even been asked before. So there aren't techniques in the back of a book or even answers in the back of the book for you to look up to solve a problem. So what do you do if you come up with something that's completely foreign to you and completely unfamiliar? Well, my advice is just do something. It's not like strategy number one, where you kind of have a hint of what the topic is about. This can be about something brand new. Just do something. I don't care what it is. Draw a picture, draw a line, draw a picture of a tree. Just get going. Get past that initial emotional barrier. So, let me show you how powerful this technique is. Here's a very simple problem. What I've drawn here is a pin, and a pin has a head and a tail. And here's my question. Juju arranged ten pins in a loop and said that there were five places where a head and a tail met. Is she lying? This is a question that's nothing like any of the textbooks. I've never thought about this before. She put 10 of these pins in a loop, and apparently there are five places where a head and a tail met. Is she lying? Okay, what can I do? Well, I'm just gonna do something. I have no idea what to do. Well, I guess the appropriate thing to do is maybe draw a picture of 10 pins in a loop. Well, maybe not even 10, let me just draw some. 10 feels like a lot, so I'll do something like this. Maybe they do have like a head and a head. Then maybe they have a tail and a tail. Uh, I don't know, I'll, just, I'll mix it up. I'm losing track of my count, but I don't even care because all I'm doing right now is just doing something. And look right now, I have a head-head pair, a tail-tail pair. Oh, there's where a head and a tail meet. Head and a tail meet. Uh, the head and tail meets there, head and tail meets there, head and tail meets there, head and tail meets there. One, two, three, four, five, six places where a head and a tail meet. She had five places. Um, don't know what it's doing. I'm still just completely floundering. But I'll draw another picture. Maybe I'll draw a small picture. Just maybe four of them. Something like this. How's, how's that? Uh, head tail. Head tail. Two of them. In fact, I invite you, draw some more pictures. And I'll bet you'll find every time you do this, something's going on about the count of the head tail pairs. Two, six. Hmm. So maybe getting five is indeed a lie. I've now got something to hold on to. My doing something has got me going on this problem. I feel there's a chance to, for me to really think about this properly now. A very powerful strategy. Just do something. Great. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.